Institute of Engineering and Technology. Hello students. Today we are going to discuss about alternating series and how to check whether a given alternating series is convergent or not. For positive term series, we have discussed many tests or many different ways to check whether it is convergent or not. Let me recall all such tests and then I will bifurcate this test of convergence for alternating series with our test of positive series. If we consider any positive term series, we can check whether it is convergent or not very easily by the nth term divergence test. We can also use integral test to check whether it is convergent or not by defining a function. We can also use comparison test to check whether it is convergent or not by defining a new series which is actually a dominating series on the given series. And then we can compare those two series to verify the convergence. We can also go through a test which is defined by D. Albert's ratio test by taking two consecutive terms at infinity to check whether it is convergent or not. And if the test is not working on the given series, we can go for its extension which is Rabi's test. By chance, if the test is not working, you should go for the Cauchy's root test, a test in which we are taking single term at a time and its nth root. So the whole idea of checking convergence, it is with this priority. I will also add at this moment that there are certain series which are falling in a particular category like geometric series, P series, harmonic series, telescopic series. So that was the discussion about positive series. Now in this case we are considering a series which is fluctuating its nature term by term from positive to negative. How to deal with such series, how to handle those series whenever we want to test its convergence. So let us start our first part which is how to check whether series is convergent where well, if given series is alternating its sign term by term. So let us consider our first case or in infinite series let us check what do we mean by alternating series. So I will define first of all alternating series then I will switch to its test of convergence. So you should note at this point that the infinite series summation n equal to 1 to infinity un with alternate positive and negative terms is called alternating series. So the word alternating over here is a word reserved for the signature of the term in case of index n. For example, this summation n from 1 to infinity u n it can be defined by minus 1 raised to n plus 1 into bracket 1 upon n. If I consider graphically what do we mean by this alternating series then you can see in place of all positive terms positive terms are always denoted by a blue bar which is lying above x axis. Here I am considering two different possibilities at a time. Means I am considering bars which are above x axis which represents positive terms of the series and blue bars which are below x axis which represents negative terms of the series. This simply means that now we need to handle positive term series and negative term series at a time. So here the chance of convergence are now totally in a different way. There are two possibilities for the convergence. The first possibility is it may happen that both of this positive and negative terms are reducing term by term and then they are approaching zero. This is the one way to test the convergence. And another way which is only possible in case of alternating series is if we consider 
two terms at a time like for first positive term and first negative term in pair and if we find the residual value of this value in bracket by taking this positive negative term it gives me a new value it can be positive it can be negative at a time so if the rule of rearranging is possible or if we can re-index the terms we can club two consecutive terms at a time and we can find a new series of residuals and if this new series of residuals is again approaching zero by decreasing term by term there is a case of convergence so whenever we are dealing with alternating series remember we have two different possibilities of convergence so let us consider our first part see here the series is diverse sorry converging towards a zero why because positive term series is also decreasing it is moving towards zero negative terms are also decreasing and it is moving towards zero but now if i consider this case then positive term is increasing towards infinity as well as negative term is also increasing towards infinity and this means that we have convergence and divergence in case of alternating series but now that was a graphical approach towards checking whether convergence or divergence is possible or not let us define one test which will help you to check whether it is convergent or not and that is known as Leibniz test now in Leibniz test how actually we are defining the condition is something like this suppose the given series is minus 1 raised to n plus 1 u n and it is defined by a n then it is convergent if it satisfies the following condition the first condition is magnitude of a n is strictly greater than magnitude of a n plus 1 for all n after some number capital n that means the series is strictly decreasing series so term by term the modulus value must be decreasing second condition is mode of a n must be equal to 0 whenever n is tending to infinity and that means that modulus are not only decreasing by nature they are also tending towards 0 at infinity let us consider the whole thing graphically first of all if i consider alternating series and if i particularly denote the negative values by red color and if i take the mode of the value we can see clearly negative values are now reflected in a positive way so now we need to focus only on the blue bars at a time so you can see clearly that the first condition is satisfied the mode of a n is strictly greater than mode of a n plus one that means term by term my value of input from the series is decreasing and the second condition is also true that this value are decreasing and then they are approaching value zero so ultimately its contribution in the overall addition will be negligible after some certain index n and this simply means that it is convergence so i am not changing the idea or the concept of convergence the concept of convergence is remaining same that the term by term values are decreasing and then they are approaching zero the only thing which i want to incorporate in this test is a negative terms of the series which is generated through the alternating nature of the given series so if i want to use leibniz test there are two conditions magnitude series or a absolute value series is decreasing and its nth term is zero at infinity now let us consider one example if i take n equal to 1 to infinity over summation of minus 1 raised to n plus 1 upon n root n how to check whether it is convergent or not so at the first sight you should be very much clear that now we are dealing with alternating series as we have minus 1 raised to n plus 1 whereas in all previous cases we don't have such minus 1 raised to n term so whenever you have only positive term series go for 
इंटीग्रल टेस्ट कंपेरिजन टेस्ट रूट टेस्ट रेबीज टेस्ट रेशियो टेस्ट और एंथम डाइवर्जेंस टेस्ट बट इफ यू हैव ऑल्टरनेटिंग सीरीज यू आर लकी इनफ एज वी हैव ओनली वन टेस्ट एट ए टाइम विच इज लेबनीज टेस्ट सो the first condition for this series would be how to define a n so a n is minus 1 raised to n plus 1 into 1 upon n root n so if i take mode of a n it will simply reduce into 1 upon n root n and then i am taking my first condition that is mode of a n is strictly greater than mode of a n plus 1 for all n and so that means i want to check whether my nth term is decreasing by nature or not so what i will do i will use the concept of single variable function and its decreasing nature by derivative of the function so if i define f of n it is equal to 1 upon n root n that simply means that f dash of n is minus 3 by 2 n raised to minus 5 by 2 which is strictly less than 0 for all n this simply means that the derivative of the function is negative and whenever derivative is negative that function is decreasing by nature and as this function is equal to my input which is 1 upon n root n this clearly says that this term 1 upon n root n is also decreasing by nature so my first condition is satisfied now let us move to the second condition that means the magnitude value will be zero at infinity so if i take limit n tends to infinity on 1 upon n root n clearly this is moving towards infinity as denominator is becoming bigger and bigger term by term as index n is increasing so this is how we can check whether this two conditions are satisfied or not and then by lebnis test we can say this alternating series is convergent so it is quite clear now how to consider alternating series what do we mean by lebnis test how to check whether this lebnis test is useful or not now remember if any one of these two conditions are not satisfied we can say clearly that this test is not applicable and cannot say anything about convergence and divergence of alternating series now our focus would be from next talk to what do we mean by conditional convergence what do we mean by conditional convergence with help of a test which will give you the idea about conditional convergence we'll also see a special category of the series which is known as power series and we'll go through a radius of convergence as well so i hope all of you understand in this talk what do we mean by alternating series what is graphical meaning of alternating series and finally what do we mean by lebnis test Thank you. LJ Institute of Engineering and Technology.